Here is, you know, the the media, of course, is uh, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of deficiencies in our media, without a doubt. Um, but the idea that the media would be fomenting things, <laughs> it's just unbelievable. Here he is. It's time to expose the crooked media deceptions and to challenge the media for their role in fomenting divisions. And yes, by the way, And yes, by the way, they are trying to take away our history and our heritage. You see that. And, and I say it, and you know, we're all pros. We're all like, we have a certain sense. We're smart people. These are truly dishonest people. And not all of them. Not all of them. You have some very good reporters. You have some very fair journalists. But for the most part, honestly, these are really, really dishonest people, and they're bad people. And I really think they don't like our country. I really believe that. And I don't believe they're going to change, and that's why I do this. If they would change, I would never say it. The only people giving a platform to these hate groups is the media itself and the fake news. Uh, there's a lot of things that are rather uh, disturbing here. Uh, regardless of what you think of uh, the American media. One, what strikes me is that uh, Trump is now, because he's flailing around, I mean, they did chant lock her up last night, but the election did end uh, 12, uh, uh, 10 months ago. So it's no longer crooked Hillary. It's now the crooked media. And this crooked media is stealing not just our history, but our heritage. And you really have to wonder what the hell that means. I mean, I, we know what it means in terms of like, this is the same way that people refer to as their way of life, right? The way of life that they had in... Uh, Traditions. Globe emoji. The way that we do things here. And they're stealing it from us. They're empowering people that shouldn't be empowered. I thought that he was just sort of mixing up the they there and was referring to the whole Confederate statue um, thing that had been happening. Well, yes, he's history. saying that the media is the media responsible. Is responsible for that? Well, yes, he's trying to demonize the media. So he's putting the whole um the whole political correctness, the whole stealing of, you know, basically you want to call it states rights or the our way of life or whatever, he's putting it on the media because there is no other there is no other villain that he can create for these people. And he wants to discredit the media. I mean, he's saying they don't like our country. He's saying that the media is are treasonous. This, um, it's like when he makes Russia about the media when really that's about the intelligence community. Right. And the point is, is it's much easier for him. He knows that's where this is an easier sell and a more effective one down the road because the media may be reporting some things in the future that he doesn't want people to hear. They forment things, for God's sakes. <laughs> Hi, folks. Sam Cedar here. We still need your help on our Patreon page. YouTube ads have come back, but not nearly as much as we had before. So if you can help us out, any little bit helps. Head over to our Patreon page right at this URL, and you'll help us keep helping you by making videos.